Hey everyone, and welcome back to another fun episode of Max Payne. As you guys remember in the last episode, we finally got in all the way up and through and killed the guy who we thought uh, sold us out. After we killed him, we found out that he was the wrong guy and put our uh, trust in a girl named Mona. But she quickly drugged us and left us in the bottom of a basement. Now we're after some guys who just killed some cops. Okay, nothing to do around here. Okay, I don't want to go in with a shotgun. Just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Mm. Hey, just forget about it. Just forget about it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. Yeah, she was a real scream that. when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' mm. bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor mm. bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Oh. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. They always. Hmm. Oh, okay, I got them then. Cool. More evidence that Punchinella didn't like me, but. The fact right, remains that all here? the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V right. in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Hmm. Reliable sources. So they think I'm dead. And somebody thought the All mafia right. had me. Didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. Mm. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Yeah, he's Don so Punchinello dead, had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead. And it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should okay. die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, yeah. That's the bathroom. <laughs> Yo! Up, oh, the man has red, white, and blue undies. <laughs> Love those underwear, man. Ah, uh, man. Okay, so we still have a painkiller. Nope, we can't get in there, so. Up into the bar. The hotel bar was fast How's developing going, quite pal? a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. Mm. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just mm. as well finish this here. Fine by me. This works out just as well. Yes. Mercedes. Hmm. I'd seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Hmm. Vladimir was back. Bang. You're dead, Max. Nice to meet you. I might have laughed if I remembered how. What's this supposed right. to be? 
Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. Okay. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am right. going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Nice. Yeah, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, mm. I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Hey, right, come on. Tell me what you want. Oh. An offer you can't refuse. Well, I can make an offer. You can't make me an offer, so I can't Continuo refuse. Messi I just die. Is bad for business all around. Mm. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Dai, mm. who used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. All right. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Ponchinellos. The ship's loaded with high-res okay. hardware, guns, my business. If Ponchinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won okay. and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Ponchinello, okay. you'll need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop okay. two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns okay. to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old time right. bad guys with honor and morals. So now we're going on a ship. One of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a right. maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from mm. the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. Yeah. <coughs> hey, yeah! How's it going, man? Thanks, buddy. You twice in my oh, head. I swollen, they could see the end. Wait on their feet. Flipping on the blood. Can't get over that. Pierce the minds. Transcend the. Quick saving it. <sighs> Alright. And these guys are kind of big bags. Attacking me like that. Alright, another part of. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is where I get the sniper. 
there is a um, thing around here. Where you can... yeah, there's a thing around here where you can get a sniper rifle. So the guards found me. <laughs> yeah, I need to lift that out of my way, so there's the stairs up. <sighs> right. There we go. keep saving like this just so we can get through this without a lot of having to restart like what we did back last episode with the baby house or with the house and I'm sorry if I'm being a little extra quiet in this episode like that. Come over here to me. A lot of these guys are kind of stupid. And who has a random ass boat out here? I mean, seriously.
Okay. Has come to town. Then family's trouble. Exhibits A, two, and three. One, two, and three. Piece of money, a sniper rifle, and the envelope with one word neatly printed paper. Mayor. That doesn't sound like a mafia contract at all. It was too cold and too to the point. So I can use this to Trying to figure out how to zoom in and out. All right, so when you aim, you actually have to hold it down. for me. Um, I don't know what it means, but it doesn't mean anything. Huh. Maybe I can see something if I can get a good vantage point. I really don't know. What people say, when you get a man in the nuts, no oh. so I got him in the nuts. But not mind finding a little bit more, a few more painkillers on him, though. Shotgun sounds that's what To the next part. Come on, let's keep going. No! 
What the hell? Got him in the back. What the fuck did he just shoot me with? No! What the hell? <laughs> oh. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh god, I would pray and hope for something right now. There's more shotgun and insto. <laughs> No problem. a fox. Okay, I will take that. I can live with this. Alright, and I got the other guy up top, so I should be okay right here now. Damn it, I really wanted some painkillers for this. There's a sniper rifle right now. Sunken ditch. You gotta move with that. Oh, I am at the last little bit I can take.
Okay, so that's one. I'm quickly saving it because who knows if I can find some painkillers in here. God, please let me find some painkillers. Anything. Oh, just one. Thank you, God. Trying to keep it below half health. Help with these Ingrams. Or Ingram. Yeah, in Ingrams are so much. Can I make that? Okay. Nope. Is that up here? Didn't want to deal with them. Hey, big guy. I should get him in the gut. Yep, that got him in the gut. Yeah, I got him in the gut. Yep, that's gonna get him. Oh man, I wanna get him into those. him in the back. Yep, and 
Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Alright, I want to quickly save this, because this is going way better than that. First time I ever did this kind of thing. Ever. Ever. It was... Oh god, it took me an hour. At least. Just to have to figure out where I had to snipe, who I had to snipe, where I was randomly dying. Like it took a. Oh, controller died. There we go. Hmm, I'm just going to move to side to up and down there. Yeah, so I just got to be careful of. Uh, Because they know the moment you see that, the road is Yeah, they know, I know the moment you see the stuff is the road is But oh, we gotta go fuck with that guy as much as possible. Not dealing with you. Yep, not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. Three. Chapter three. The rats in oily water. Oy. Cool. Hey. Where the fuck did I get shot from? This other guy is. Oh, okay. So my batteries keep. Well, my controller wants to work, but for some reason the batteries don't want to. So I'm gonna quickly grab some batteries out of my other controller. Quick, see if that's the problem. Because if that is, we can easily just keep going. Because I really don't like leaving it in the middle of a gunfight. The best part is three six. Oh, shysta. Oh, these batteries. Let's try it again. Yeah, I have battery life. It's just... <laughs> I did the same thing way back when, when I was first playing... Uh, uh, when I was first ever playing... Uh, Far Cry 4. Yeah, in there. Oh. you, asshole. Personally, I'd like to know how I get in there, because I think I see some pain pills. Yeah, and you can't just jump across. Bullshit. I just lost all that health I just got. I found Boris Dime's ship. <laughs> yeah, well, how am I supposed to get out to it? Okay. Oh. Oh, are you? You have no laugh. Okay, nope, not even messing with you. Nope. I found Boris on ship. Yep. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Thank you, God. I needed that. Half health. Can easily gain all that back here now. Bread of ammo, bread of ammo, bread of ammo. And I did get a thing of painkillers, so I will save it right here. Again. Rust had crept right. over the sides of the cargo steamer nope, a long time go. ago. Or his dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get mm. near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. Dime cost hmm. you. I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Hmm. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing right. me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon right. we should get together and have a talk. Yes. Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. Oh, nice. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello. Mad enough right. to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave. Hopefully, one can hope. I'm gonna quickly save it here. Dime! Dime! Oh shit. Over here. Yeah, you know, I think a bank goes. You know how to handle yourself. Anybody who says different is calling me a liar. Glad I'm here. Oh, commando. Oh, that's, that's like a assault rifle. I owe you anything you need. This is my right. solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem mm. anymore. Clear as vodka. But anytime you get All between right. a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster. True. Man, don't you? Alright, nice. Put out my flames with gasoline. That sounds like a lovely. I figured I could get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass mm. a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Hmm. Hey. Right. You're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your mm. ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant. Yeah, I know it. Wow. Oh. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Uh oh. Snow was falling. So we're setting up like an ambush. Skies, but that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. 
I knew it was True. a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Casa de Angelino. Angelio. I did not see that one coming. Oh, okay. I'm... Yeah, I'm having problems with my controller for some reason. One sec. Alright, sorry about that. So, yay, Angelian, Angelio just set fire to his own... <laughs> yep. The last of my okay, here's the room, I guess, and I hope it's not the wrong wrong, wrong one. Come on. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. Yeah, so they burned probably the lesser areas. Now this is what I need at the moment. What I want slash need is painkillers. Of course, you're not gonna have them. Yeah, you're not gonna have them. Yep. Exactly what I thought. Oh! 
nice. Send these two guys sky high. Thanks, boys. Gives me that really nice. The mobsters right. have been guarding a nice real treasure. Point. The way out of this disco inferno. Monsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco infer. Yay, great. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. <laughs> Alrighty. Save that. Just because it keeps getting harder and harder. something on the end of a walk. I mean, I'm a nice guy, but I'm not gonna let these guys shoot the crap out of me. Alright, let's get back up. I'm gonna get out of the sewer before... Yeah. Oh, commando is going to get dry soon. Alright, I want to save here. Just because I tired of the way I want to go through and just hope. Yep, see? That's why. I didn't want to just come through and just hope and pray. why we do what we do and save it before I go up here Vlad had okay. seen my smoke signals the Mercedes was revving mm. to go almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens you coming we'll drop mm. you off at the Punchinello Manor sounds good to me when this is over look me up I could Are use you? a professional like you I'll keep that in mind All right, that works. All right, Angel of Death, and when we get in, I'm gonna quickly save it, and we're gonna go, and I'm the gonna quickly. Yeah. Cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white mm. before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates mm. if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. They'd see the True. pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, pain. no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how True. good you were. It was chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, nice. as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back yeah. door open for me and Let's killed the this. guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, mm. thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken well, night had followed you. me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood mm. of their victims Ooh, rust Victorian. on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan mm. Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the There's bone. There's a dumb. Oh, no. All right, we're going to pause it here. And thank you guys again. Um, I'm recording this right after 
um, the last episode. I'm recording uh, three episodes tonight, so I'm sorry about the low noise, and I'm sorry I'm not really getting into it, but it's like, again, this is one of the games where it's you listen more, and it's just shooty-shooty. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below, subscribe today, and please remember, have fun playing in the dark. I will see you guys in the next one. Night. Audio Micro.com.